Peace Deep Minds 255 here. What up? What up? This week is like fighting game week. I mean, for real. DNF Duel, um, Project L, and now they're releasing L, no pun intended, with Capcom here. And it's a lot to cover, so let's get to it. My initial reaction to this trailer went back and forth. In the first place, when I saw it was Luke, I was just like, DNF Duel just got released, Project L just got released, and the first thing my brain said, all right, Capcom, this is a great idea, right? You, there's already a lot of attention to fighting games while not bring the game that made fighting games fighting games back to the surface. Um, and so, in one way, I thought to myself, that's a great idea. Then I also thought to myself, Luke coming out right now is not necessarily a great idea because Luke, people didn't really have a warm reception of Luke when he came out. I watched a lot of reaction trailers and everybody was like, what, what is this? Another generic character? I, for once, was more on the positive side. I was excited and I was like, oh, Capcom's trying to bring life back. It looks so, anime like it looks so such good animation then i started watching this trailer and i was just like oh this character is kind of generic and boring after watching those other trailers however the thing that got me re-excited about luke was the actual match itself when you because the reason why I lost the excitement when I saw this trailer or this reveal from Capcom was because I saw the V gauge and the way that his uh, V skills are going to play a role in using him. When you watch the original demo, it just looked like he had all of those skills at the ready, right? That they were they were that they were his and. Maybe no one believed that Luke would be able to use all of those skills, but I had imagined in my mind they gave him a lot of moves. This is going to be available, but then when I saw some of the stuff that I saw in the original trailer locked behind his V-Trigger, I was just like, well, so maybe it's not so practical. But the way they did the V-Trigger, it looks like he could actually maintain his V-Trigger. And I even saw... As you'll, you'll see here when you watch the trailer, if you haven't watched it or not yet, um, it looked like his V gauge actually moved up. And that one of the developers said that players are going to have to interact with Luke in order to deal with his V gauge. And I don't know exactly how that mechanic's going to work, but it definitely looked like um, it can go up and that he could preserve it So as I'm watching his moves and I'm watching his V trigger I'm losing interest and then the next thing I noticed the next thing I noticed um, Was the match when they showed his match and I saw how fluid it was to go in and out of all of his moves, including his V trigger and how they all seamlessly work together. The animation is top notch and it does look very fluid. And it does seem like to me, Capcom is definitely trying to go out of their way to make sure he's um, top tire. He has something for, for throws. He's uh, basically, he's a good Shoto character. They gave him long reaching normals. I don't know what the recovery is like on them, for watching him, it looks like they gave him long reaching normals. He has good combos. His projectile game, it looks like he can do some serious damage there. Uh, he looks like he has the tools necessary to definitely be a, a competitive top tier character, but I gotta see him against other characters. I gotta see him against other characters. But uh, we'll see what happens. I hope that. 
They showed the other thing that got me, brought me a little more hope about Luke and Street Fighter V was when they were showing the end trailer for the February 22 Final Capcom week. I'm hoping, maybe you're hoping too, that there's going to be a Street Fighter reveal in 6 in 2022 and uh, a celebration of the Street Fighter V community was a smart move because celebrating Street Fighter V would not be a smart move. So, I hope that Luke is not the best thing about Street Fighter VI. I, I, I'm hoping that he is just maybe a common character and that the other characters who come in are gonna have a lot of access to different moves and target combos and more flashy animation and fluid-like movement like we're seeing from Luke. Luke cannot be the... I'm saying right now, Luke being the main face of Street Fighter VI is probably not a good idea. Fans have already told you that they don't care for him. In battle, though, he looks he looks great. But uh, if you want to join a lot of new fans, you better have some really good stuff. Uh, his father, maybe he'll be a new character. That's great. I guess that's a nice thing. Everybody was hoping it was something else. Capcom could have used that to fill in some lore and made people crazy. Instead, they chose to make it his father. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. But um, they could have made the character somebody extremely hyped. They could have made it a new character. I mean, his dad looks like a pretty generic character. Dads are great, though. We love dads. But uh, enough hype to get me to want to play Street Fighter. His I just probably didn't even show it here. It was nothing about his father that made me go, let me buy Street Fighter 6 to see what his character is. Who's his man? He wants to be like, he wants to be like his dad. All right, that's cool, but it doesn't get me excited to play Street Fighter 6. Right? Maybe that, that would have been great for like a, 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 a happy father's day or something, but it's not working here. Anyway, uh, there'll be plenty of uh, breakdown trailers talking about mechanics. And if you just watch it, I'll put a link at the bottom. This. Um, if you just watched the actual show itself, they, they went through and broke down a lot of his moves. And so I just wanted to give some commentary and some thought on that. Uh, this is Deep My 255 out one.